Hello everyone and welcome to today's tech tip. Today I want to take a look at component harnesses, which are a type of class found in the Angular CDK that allow you to interact with components through a supported generic API in the same way that a user basically would. So in many ways, this concept is similar to the idea of page objects in integration testing, but then applied to Angular components. So let's take a look. I've got a very basic app here with a material slider and two buttons that I can use to increment and decrement it. And I've also got a component that supports linking those buttons with the slider. So what I want to do is take a look at how can we use harnesses to interact with these different buttons and the slider, and how can we basically write our tests as efficient and readable as possible using those. So let's dive into it. So I've got my boilerplate test here. I've added some modules into my imports. And the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is actually add some declarations here up top for the different component harnesses that I'll be using. So let's start with the slider. That's gonna be a slider harness, not slider harness. Let's say the increment button will be a mat button harness. And let's declare a decrement button variable as well as a mat button harness. Okay, great. So last but not least, I'll have to declare the harness loader as well. So these are all different objects that we're gonna need, different types of objects that we're gonna need to use the harnesses. So in my before each, for every test, I'm gonna actually want to get my loader from the test bed harness environment. And we're gonna just get the loader for my fixture. And then we can start using that loader to load our harnesses into those variables. So I can, for example, load my slider here and I can just get harness and I can just use the mat slider harness type here, class. And I actually have to make sure that I await here because this is an asynchronous method. And I'm gonna do the same for my buttons. So I can actually await loader.getHarness. And since we have two buttons, I actually have to query my mat button harness with some text here. So I can give that with an option and I'm gonna put the text of my button in there. And let's just do the same for the decrement. And we can put decrement in there. Okay, great. So now I have my harnesses are all loaded up and I can start writing my tests. So let's just describe the increment button. And let's say that it should increment the value of the slider. Okay, so normally what I would do if I wasn't using harnesses is I would start to get all kinds of stuff in the HTML, in the components. But now that I have my harnesses loaded, I can actually simply just, let's add here when clicked. So when I click the button, I want to increment my slider. That's what I'm testing here, right? So I'll just literally, I can just write here await increment button dot click. Of course, I have to create, make my function asynchronous to use an asynchronous call there. And then I can expect await slider dot get value to be in this case two, since it starts at one. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. It's very readable. You're only writing two lines of code. So, you know, these harnesses can really save you a lot of work in the long run if you're writing a lot of tests like this. So let's just do one more. Let's do one for the decrement button. And let's just uh, say that it should decrement the slider value when clicked. And in this case, I just wanna, let's say, start with my slider and set the value to five. Again, I have to make my test asynchronous. 
And let's say I click the decrement button. Then I'm going to expect my slider dot get value to be four. And it works like a charm. So the harnesses are going to really make your life a lot easier if you're writing all these kinds of tests. And you just have a guaranteed way of interacting with components in a very reliable and standardized way. So I hope you guys can learn a bit from this and um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you're using harnesses or if you prefer to use different ways of accessing components in your tests. And I hope you have a great Tuesday.